Um, it's 80, 90 degrees outside. Um, our farmer's market started today and we went shopping down there. So it was fun. Um, but since it's 90 degrees, I wanted to start something new. And I have to get my Christmas cards done in advance. I used to have a Christmas card class every other uh, month and starting in January, and I haven't been doing that. So I need some Christmas cards. So the first Sunday of every month, it's going to be Christmas cards on Stampin' Camp with Mary. So today, I we're using the Evergreen Elegance Bundle. Um, it's this stamp set plus um, the punch, the punch, okay? Now, I thought this was going to be something different, but it's not, and I'll show you. Um, so I started out with an idea. I liked, I wanted not, you, you could make it a shaker card if you wanted, but I didn't make it a shaker card. I just did this, but kind of was lost. This is my first attempt, kind of was lost. So this is, we're going to do something similar to this today. And again, you could probably make it a shaker card if you want and put some, you know, trees in there to shake or whatnot. Hey, Sharon. And then the, this, I, I'm cutting this out with the rectangle, the stitch rectangles. And so it gives me this. And who's going to throw this away? And and look, it's it's got the it's got the stitching and everything. So I had to figure out a way to use that so I wouldn't have to throw that much cardstock away. So we're going to do this card too. See, it uses it. So that's it. A um, couple of things. If you um, if you know um, there is a new Celebration coming up, the second celebration is coming up in August and September, and they've pushed back the mini catalog from July to August because they can't get all their stuff in over the shipping containers and stuff like that due to COVID. So they're starting the new Ju Gen July to December catalog is now going to be August to December catalog. And if you want a free catalog from me, make sure you placed an order with me in the last year and I will automatically send you or Stampin Up will automatically send you a catalog from me. So just so you know that, um, make sure that is, this is the last month and there are some really good savings um, on the um, January to June um, catalog. I mean, there are some up to 50% off on some of the items here that aren't retiring. So, hey, Gail. So let me tell you. Oh, you notice the shirt I'm wearing. I just grabbed it going to church today. Notice the, the, the little flowers. Does it look like anything you've seen lately? Isn't that amazing? Look at this. Look at that, the, this one, and the, and the leaves here. I, now I'm going to have to, that, that's Bumblebee or Daffodil Delight. And this could be Blushing Bride with a little Calypso Coral. You think? Uh, Janelle, they will, um, actually the new catalog will be up for demos on the 22nd of June um, online and they will mail out our catalogs right after that. So you should get a probably early part of July, if not before, depending upon where you are, if not before, okay? So anyhow, I thought that was pretty cool. I got a, a shirt that I can make a card out of. So I'm gonna move you over and we're gonna do some Christmas cards today because this is a little longer because I am going to use the stamp cut and emboss machine for you, yep. I am using the stamp cut and emboss machine. So, okay. So we are going to do 
just because we need that center thing, we're going to do this card first. What I'm using is this is Bombing Blue, Whisper White, and Garden Green. Okay. Um, and the color, the I am using almost all of the colors of green. I've got Shaded Spruce, Pear Pizzazz, Old Olive, Garden Green, Evergreen, Evening Evergreen. Okay. Those are the colors I'm using. We are going to use a little technique that um, I have been doing um, a lot of lately, but um, Stamping Up sent out one and I just up, I just shared it yesterday or today on how to use your sponge daubers to create um, different colorings. This is the one we're gonna use. We're not, I had cut these out and we were gonna use these and we were going to um, mask them, but I decided I like this type better. So we're not masking. So, um, so what, where is my, okay, here. Oh, and we're also using um, glue, glue dots and some of the um, strips of um, dimensional strips. Okay, we are also using, um, I don't know what number this one is. Um, it's the uh, rectangle, um, stitched rectangle dies. So that, okay, so, so for the first thing we're going to do is I am going to fold this in half. Okay. And then I am going to take garden green and I am going to take there is a bow in here and I'm going to take that bow and I am going to let's do this one last time I'm not seeing it Okay, so what I am going to do is I am going to put this bow on three sides, okay? And I'm going to use garden green. You can use any, you know, evening evergreen, whatever color. And I am using it on the balmy blue. And I am just going to go just like this. You can go on, off. You want, you want enough space so you can cut out. This is like the third size rectangle I can't remember which one but figure it out I mean you've got all those rectangles so what you want to do is then you're going to want to make sure it fits in here but you want it so you can put the Merry Christmas will fit underneath it okay so you may put it up just a little more okay so now what I am going to do after I find clean that off. Okay. Wish me luck. Let me move the going to move because of the uh, paper. Oh, there it is. I'm so proud of myself that I can do this now. Hey, Sherry. Hey, Patricia. So what I am doing is I'm just going to put this in here and again I want to make sure the Merry Christmas 
is going to fit on there. It looks like it will. Um, you may want to, because Mary doesn't have a really good eye. And I know you can't see my, uh, okay. Okay, I got to take it off of the uh, paper. Oh, sorry guys, there we go. Ha <laughs> ha, my arm is getting better. So what I did was I just popped this out and I'm gonna use this in the other one. And yeah, there, it's gonna happen. So I'm just gonna use that, okay? Now I'm going to put this down. And what I'm going to do is I am going to, let's bring this back so I don't have to. Oh, moved you guys. There. Now I am going to take my Merry Christmas. And where's my garden green again? And I'm going to put Merry Christmas there. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is, oh, my garden green. Now, this was a five and a half by four and a quarter piece of garden green. And I just started, you can get three of these. Um, let me clean this off because I just got green all over me. Um, you can get three of those, the border punches on a four and a quarter by five and a half going the long way. So all I'm going to do, and this actually hurts more than the, uh, okay, so... Okay, punch that. See what you do is you're lining up these and the ones that you just punched. Just like that, making sure that that goes down on the bottom. Okay, gotta stand up. And then you wanna do it again. There you go. Now, see, I said if you wanted to make it a shaker card, what you can do is cut these apart and these are little trees themselves. You know, just cut them. And then you could use that for your inside your shaker card, okay? But now what you're going to do is I want to cut a couple of these off. I want it still to be across there. So I am just going to cut, say that, and that off, okay? Now let's cut that off. There, so yeah, okay. So now what I'm going to do, I'm gonna flip it over. I'm going to put on each of these sides, I'm going to put a glue dot or two. That's why you don't wanna to cut too, many, too much off because you, you're only going to glue it right there. Okay, so now what you're gonna do, you gotta make sure you're doing it right, is you're just going to glue this down. That's why I've got the uh, 
glue dots. I just want to glue it right on the top of that so it looks like this. Okay, and now you're going to take your Whisper White, and this is a five and a half by four and a quarter, quarter sheet of Whisper White. You're going to take your three different, three different uh, Christmas trees, and you're going to, first of all, ink them up with the lightest color you want. So I'm going to do Pear Pizzazz. I'm going to just ink up one with Pear Pizzazz, okay? Okay, then I am going to take my sponge dauber with a darker color. I'm going to pick up that darker color and I'm just going to sponge it around. Okay, just like that. And then I am going to and see the different colorings, the different shadings you got, uh, grab one of these. Okay, and then um, let's take this one and I'm gonna put Old Olive on that one. Clean the wrong one off. And then I am going to take Evening Evergreen and I am going to put some Evening Evergreen on this old olive one. And you always want to put darker onto light, not light onto dark. First of all, it doesn't work. Second of all, you just want to. And then I'm going to take the small one and um, let's do shaded spruce on that one. And I want to do evergreen, evening evergreen, because it's a little darker. See, you can just tell a little bit of that. Not a lot of it, because it's there are two darks. But you can just get a hint of that. And then I'm going to do another tall one. Uh, this time, instead of pear pizzazz, I'm going to use old olive. And uh, let's use say, shaded spruce on that one. Okay. And I'm going to put that one over here. Okay. And probably, hmm, bet you I could get another small one. Let's do pear pizzazz. And shaded spruce. And I'm just going to put that one right there. Back. There we go. Okay. Now what you're going to do after you clean all of your stamps. I'm going to put the there because I'm not going to use that one. What you're going to do is you're going to come back here and you're going to get your 
strips, your, your adhesive strips. And you're just going to cut some of these and take them off. And what you're, you're just wanting to do, oh, must have cut that before. There, and let's get this one on top. So we're going to be at Kayla's next weekend, I think. It all depends. We're talking. Her, her boyfriend is kind of a little <sighs> apprehensive about having mom and dad there for two weeks. So we may not be there. We may go instead of Tuesday, go Thursday and spend the weekend. If so, we're coming back probably Sunday or Monday. So I won't be able to do Stampin' Camp, but I'll let you know. Okay, and now we're going to pull these off, pull this off, and pull this off, and then we're going to take, oh, there it is, <laughs> we're going to take this one and we're going to walk it over because we want it lined up because it is the exact same size. Now, if you want it, you could cut this a little smaller, you know, cut a quarter inch off of it. On, e on two sides and make this like a five and a quarter by four and four inch. But and there you go. I'd probably, maybe I should put another one in the back of that. Raise that up a little bit. I put them down a little too much, I think. But hey, looks good. So. Now what you're going to do is we've got this piece and we are going to use um, pear pizzazz and we are going to use the evergreen um, 3D embossing folder. So I'm going to put this in here. Just line that up. And I'm going to get the, oh, I have to take this off. Line this up, take all of these off, get the embossing folder one. Okay, so again, I want to put this in just like this. the embossing top on, 3D embossing top. Then run it through, <laughs> sorry. And you've got that 3D embossing. Don really likes that. He said, that's a nice one. I had to show him all the cards. So, these over here have this again. And so this is, again, we are just using the piece that we cut out of this one for another one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my, um, where's my garden green? I'm just going to do this all in garden green. It's going to be a quick, easy card. Now you could use shaded spruce. You could use any of the other colors. I'd rather have the, oh, you want this, this is the second size, this is the middle size. So you want that up top, okay? And where's my, there it is. And then I am going to put the saying on.
and right on the bottom. Let me make sure. It's friends like you that make this season so wonderful. Then I'm just going to take dimensionals. And center that one on. I like that. There we go. So this uses the Evergreen Elegance bundle to make two cards. I hope you've enjoyed those two cards. Oh, yeah. And this, I had to use, I, I couldn't throw that away. It, it was too beautiful just to throw away. So I'm making that second card. Jerry, the... Um, Name of that stamp set is Evergreen Elegance. It's a bundle. Uh, let me move this over here. Ah, there we go. So that's it for today. You've got the two Christmas cards we made today on um, July. Hopefully I will be here in July so we can do another two Christmas cards. And I just really like these cards. Hopefully you do too. So uh, remember, um, if you would like to please help me with my small business and uh, purchase at marytrotner.stampinup.net, just hit the shop now button. And um, today's, let's see, today's June's, June's host code is RJ. A W N H W two. So don't forget to use that. Oh, thank you, Nyla. Um, and that is where we are today. Um, I will tell you, I should be here next Sunday, even if it'll be a short one, and just say, hey, I'm bringing both of my two of my new kits, um, and we'll probably do one of those at Kayla's. Um, for next Sunday, if I can get one of the girls to help me. So anyhow, I hope you've had fun. Have a good time and happy stamping. Bye-bye.